Om Shanti, today is the 32nd day of your Godly Blessing and today's Godly Blessing. God is telling us one method which we all know, which you all have experienced, but we don't do it with Him, especially with God. When it comes to taking out the weaknesses within us, when it comes to imbibing the love and the power of God, God says there is one method which you can apply, which you have applied for many births in your worldly life. So let's understand what God wants us to do. And what is that comparison which he wants to bring about so that we can learn from it in our lives, so that we can overcome our weaknesses through that method. So Baba says in today's method, May you constantly be loving, loving towards whom we'll explore that, and become a highest being who follows the highest code of conduct by being liberated from all weaknesses in a second. God is talking about a second, but we take quite a lot of time. We understand, first of all, in a second that we have weaknesses. Some people take many, many years and months and weeks to even understand that they have weaknesses within us and they have always been blaming other people for their weaknesses. They are pointing out fingers and that's why they are not able to accept that they have got weaknesses. First step is to accept that takes one second. Then comes the next step. So let's understand the next step. Baba says in details, someone who loves another surrenders everything out of love for that person. Don't we do that? When you love somebody, you give your tan man than That means your body, your mind, your wealth, everything you give away to that person. You say that everything which I have is yours. So Baba is trying to bring about that comparison in our life. And he's trying to say, why don't you do that with me? So someone who has love does not need to think about anything to surrender. Anything. You don't think twice, right? So someone who has love does not need to think about anything to surrender anything. So the easy way to put into practice the codes of conduct which God has given us. What are all things we have to follow? When we are in love with somebody, whatsoever that person tells us, we follow it. Blindly. That's why we say falling in love blindly. So God says over here that falling in love blindly might not give you 100% love and peace and happiness, at least in this Kali Yuga. But godly love is the purest love, which is the only thing which has remained pure in this Kali Yuga. So in this Kali Yuga, in the impure, dirty world, God says one kind of love in which if you give your mind, your body and your wealth to me, God says, you're not giving it to me. I don't need your wealth. I don't need your body. I don't need anything. I just need you to follow what I have told you for your own benefit, not even for me. You won't give me a certificate for giving you all the guidance. You won't give me laurels. You won't give me a special poster position. I don't even need it, God says. I don't even need the fruits and the vegetables and the sweets which you offer me in a temple. I don't need all those things. That is what you have for yourself. You offer me, you take it home, you have it on your own. So what do you offer? God says you offer me the fact that your love for me helps you to improve and remove your own weaknesses. That is, you follow my dictates, which are for your own benefit, not even for me. So then God says, liberated from all weaknesses is to be constantly loving to one father. So the easy way to put into practice the codes of conduct and disciplines you hear, which we hear at Brahma Kumaris, about and to be liberated from all weaknesses is to be constantly loving to the one father. All love for one father. When you love father, then everything which he tells you, you follow it immediately. If you don't have that love, you'll be distracted. You'll be distracted by what people tell you to do, what people ask you to do, or what your own mind, old impure mind tells you to do. But you have love for the father. You'll fight over everything. When you're in love with somebody, you fight with the family also. You fight with everybody else, right? Even if you think that you're not right but you still do so but over here love for one father is always right so even if somebody tells you don't do this don't wake up early in the morning and meditate why are you spending so much of time you should take sleep you should sleep well why are you eating vegetarian food you should enjoy non-vegetarian food why are you doing all these things you should buy a lot of things you should live stylishly God says either you follow their dictates your own dictates or you follow my dictates and find out for yourself whether there's peace and love and happiness in following my dictates or or there is happiness in following other people's dictates. So then Baba says, that constantly stay in the company of that one you love. That one God you love. 
and you will be colored by spirituality so god is a form of light he's light himself and he's got all the seven colors of love peace purity happiness power knowledge and he's ready to give it to us but we need to be in love with him not in love with things around us or this our own physical body or the wealth that we have amassed or the people whom we are surrounded by if you are in love with them then god says either it's me or it's them at least in this color because they can't give you a complete 24 hours love they are also discharged they also have issues in their life but i don't have any issues in my life so be in connection with me and be in love with me so as to receive constant love and then you can share it with others instead of asking from others for love and peace so then god says constantly stay in the company of the one you love and you will be colored by spirituality and have and become a highest being who follows the highest code of conduct in a second so the highest code of conduct is not what the government gives us the highest code of conduct of living life is what god gives us is the purest way of life is a simplest way of living life without any desires people with desires can't even help the government they rather pull the government down also god says if you have no desires you bring up, up your own life and you help others to also rise so god says there are certain codes of conduct with which you can overcome those weaknesses or desires and then baba says in a second because someone who is loving automatically receives the father's cooperation if you are loving towards father then god will be able to give you cooperation because it's all about connecting to him only if i love him can i be connected to him if i love other people my connection will break and then my achievements of love peace and happiness will go away simply in a second so it's all about a second so i leave you with this beautiful vardan so as to know who god is you see we all believe in the future who oh, i'll have somebody in my life a husband or a wife that's a belief similarly if we here if you believe that god is there but if you don't know who that god is if you don't know in your physical life who that husband or wife is you're always in a dream world so being religious is like that dream world but being spiritual means you understand the spirit who he is you get to know who spirit that is and which spirit and what form that spirit is in or that soul is in or known as the supreme soul the paramatma so believing and knowing there's a difference you can believe in so many things but you might not have the knowledge of it so that is what god says first come and get to know me who i am where i am how do i look what do i do how do i create this world and when does this world come to an end and a new world starts on this very earth so that knowledge is very important about the creator and his creation without which we are just thinking that we know god or we believe in god but we don't know him completely and without knowing him you can't love that person right so how can you love god without knowing him so i leave you with this world and have a blessed day stay safe stay healthy stay home om shanti Thank you.